In the relatively new world of free-to-play first-person shooters, Team Fortress 2 is relatively old. Released in 2007 and set free in 2011, this class-based classic continues to receive regular updates and attract a robust player base well into its seventh year. Though some parts of GameSpot's original review still hold true, TF2 has changed over the years, as has the landscape of PC gaming. The question that this updated review seeks to answer is, how well is Team Fortress 2 holding up in 2014 against the current crop of competitors for your time and money? The short answer is, it's holding up quite well, quite well indeed. The core action pits two teams of players against each other in a battle to capture points, move a cart, or steal a briefcase. The objective is always very straightforward, it's the interplay between the nine playable classes that makes things much more varied and interesting. The speedy scout, the militant heavy, the diligent engineer, the conniving medic, the pesky sniper, the sneaky spy, the feisty pyro, the explosive soldier, the even more explosive demo man. All of these dudes have straightforward tactics, advanced strategies, and tricksy alternatives for you to learn how to exploit and how to defend against. Learning the ropes and getting the hang of your chosen role is a gratifying experience, and there's a lot of subtlety to each class that, once mastered, can make you a much deadlier competitor. But the variety of classes should also tempt you to mix things up, and oftentimes you need to be flexible with your choice of character in order to avoid ending up on a catastrophically imbalanced squad. It is Team Fortress, after all. And it has been for a while. The basics of the game haven't really changed much over the years, so if you stopped playing it a few years ago and come back for a few matches, you'll find things are very familiar. There have been some notable changes, though, as well as regular infusions of new weapons and items. Amidst the sea of stuff available in the store, some things can be unlocked through play and some must be purchased with actual money. Many offer nothing more than a playful twist on the game's already cheeky cartoon aesthetic, and there's some mild appeal in donning a spooky top hat or a golden Brock Sampson-esque mullet and taunting your foes. In addition to the cosmetic options, there are also a lot of weapons and items that offer small buffs or subtle tweaks to your attributes. These generally give experienced players some room for strategic variation, but they don't do a whole lot to influence the core action. Some weapons, however, give your character a new chargeable and expendable power, and these are the ones that make things interesting. The Scout can build hype, which turns his usual double jump into a triple, quadruple, and quintuple jump. And the Soldier can build rage, that allows him to rally his nearby teammates to do extra damage. And then there are the totally out there loadouts, like the one that turns the grenade launching demo man into an extra from the movie Braveheart. These options help broaden the field of viable strategies, which helps keep combat feeling lively and varied. Perhaps the biggest divergence from the game's origins comes in the cooperative mode, Man vs. Machine. In it, you and a few other human players must prevent hordes of robotic incarnations of TF2's classes from delivering a bomb to your base. Even on the easiest level, the robot legions are fierce enough to test the mettle of an unorganized team. This is a mode where carefully planned weapon choices and defensive strategies can mean the difference between succeeding and having to try, try again. Though it lacks the frenetic unpredictability of competitive play, the cooperative mode can still provide satisfaction for those dedicated enough to see it through. But competition is the real draw, and the Team Fortress 2 community can certainly be competitive. On some servers, you might be berated for unwitting breaches of etiquette, while others might welcome you with helpful tips and uber charges. The community for TF2 is an intriguing one, not just for their deep knowledge of and passion for the game, but for their creative efforts in designing new weapons, items, and maps that have since become part of the experience. It feels like a community of curators, without whom the game may well have dwindled away and passed into obsolescence years ago. Staying relevant even a year after release is rare for a competitive shooter, and yet here's Team Fortress 2 still lively after seven years in the business. At times it feels like the same game you could have played back then, and at others it feels like no one will ever quite nail class-based shooter competition the way TF2 does. Though your free-to-play options may have increased considerably in the past few years, there aren't many that do it as well as Team Fortress 2.